Jesus' Birth The exact date of Jesus' birth is not recorded in the Bible or other historical sources. According to the Christian Bible, Jesus was born in Bethlehem during the reign of King Herod the Great, who died in 4 BC. However, the exact year of Jesus' birth is not specified, and it is not clear whether the event was recorded by contemporary historians. Islamic sources also do not specify the exact date of Jesus' birth. According to Islamic tradition, Jesus was a prophet who was born to the Virgin. Mary is considered to be a significant figure in the Islamic faith. However, the details of Jesus' life and teachings as recorded in the Islamic tradition differ from those found in the Christian Bible. In conclusion, while the birth of Jesus is an important event in both Christianity and Islam, the exact date of his birth is not known and is not recorded in historical or religious sources. Roman Sun God The Roman Sun God was known as Sol Invictus, which means, Unconquered Sunday. Sol Invictus was believed to be the bringer of light and life and was seen as a symbol of strength and power in the Roman pantheon of deities. The sun was revered as a powerful force that could sustain life and bring warmth to the cold winter months. The festival of Sol Invictus was held annually on December 25 and was a time of celebration and feasting. This festival was one of the most important in the Roman calendar and was a time for people to come together and honor the sun god. Sol Invictus was often depicted as a young, handsome man with a crown of rays around his head, representing the sun's rays. In addition to the festival of Sol Invictus, the sun god was also honored in other ways in Roman society. Temples and shrines were built in his honor, and people would offer sacrifices and prayers to him in the hopes of receiving his blessings. The sun god was also depicted in art and literature and was a popular subject in Roman mythology. The worship of Sol Invictus was particularly popular during the reign of Emperor Aurelian in the 3rd century. Aurelian saw the sun god as a symbol of the strength and power of the Roman Empire, and he made the worship of Sol Invictus a central part of the Roman state religion. This led to the spread of the cult of Sol Invictus throughout the empire, and the festival of Sol Invictus became a widely celebrated holiday. Despite its popularity in ancient Rome, the worship of Sol Invictus eventually declined as the Roman Empire fell and Christianity became the dominant religion in Europe. However, the celebration of the winter solstice and the sun's renewal continued to be celebrated in various forms, and many of the traditions and customs associated with Christmas, such as gift-giving and the decoration of trees, can be traced back to the ancient Roman festivals of Saturnalia and Sol Invictus. Capitalist Santa Christmas is a holiday that is celebrated by millions of people around the world, and it is often associated with gift-giving, family gatherings, and the exchange of festive season greetings. However, Christmas is also a time of significant economic activity, and the holiday has become closely tied to capitalism in many parts of the world. One of the key ways in which capitalism has influenced Christmas is through the commercialization of the holiday. In the United States and other countries with a strong consumer culture, Christmas has become a major retail event, with stores and businesses offering a wide range of Christmas-themed products and decorations. This has led to a significant increase in spending on Christmas gifts, with people often feeling pressure to purchase gifts for friends, family, and co-workers. Another aspect of the capitalism of Christmas is how the holiday has become a time of financial stress for many people. With the pressure to buy gifts and participate in holiday activities, many people end up overspending and going into debt during the holiday season. This can lead to financial strain and anxiety, particularly for those who are struggling financially. In conclusion, it is important to recognize that the origins of Christmas and the traditions and customs associated with the holiday are complex and multifaceted. While Christmas is primarily a Christian holiday that celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ, it has its roots in ancient Roman festivals, such as Saturnalia and Sol Invictus, which were celebrations of the winter solstice and the sun, respectively. Many of the traditions and customs associated with Christmas, such as gift-giving and the decoration of trees, can be traced back to these ancient festivals. While capitalism has had a significant impact on how Christmas is celebrated, 
and it is important to remember that the holiday is about much more than just gift giving and consumerism. Thank you for watching, see you next time.